Hi, I'm Dan Korich, Chair of the Noise Advisory Committee, and I'll be presenting Warrant Article 28, a proposal to reduce noise from landscaping equipment. Article 28 would revo revise the noise bylaw, which is section 80, to protect residents from noise pollution from landscaping equipment. It would restrict the hours of use and limit noise levels, and it would gradually phase out the use of gas-powered leaf blowers, which I'll abbreviate GLBs. GLBs are primary focus of Article 28. This is primarily because they are extremely noisy, but they also produce highly toxic emissions and have adverse environmental effects. Even a single GLB, commercial grade GLB, far exceeds the noise limit in current code. The current noise limit is a 10 decibel increment over ambient noise, and that's far exceeded by a commercial grade GLB. As I'm sure most of you know, it's rare to see a single commercial grade GLB in use. Landscapers typically use two to four at a time, and so that vastly exceeds noise limit in current code. It's important to stress that Article 28 would not create new noise limits. It would only bring landscaping work more nearly into compliance, not entirely into compliance, but more nearly into compliance with current state and town code. Enforcement of current code to limit landscaping noise just isn't practical without amendment, and I would be happy to explain the reasons why during question period. In the view of our committee, Article 28 is a practical middle ground. On the one hand, we have many residents wanting immediate relief from stressful and disruptive noise pollution that often lasts for hours on end. I can tell you that those complaints are often uh, truly vehement in tone. But we also have residents expressing concern about the burden of change. Therefore, although far quieter all electric service is already available in Lexington, we propose a three-year transition. And I'll add a personal note, I made this transition myself about a year and a half ago. I had contacted my conventional landscaper and asked him to discuss quieter alternatives. Uh, when he wouldn't answer, I simply let his contract lapse and hired an all electric service. Uh, the service is excellent. Uh, the price is about the same and the noise level is vastly, vastly lower. This is not novel. GLB restrictions are common and increasingly common. Uh, we have found about 30 US communities that have banned them outright. I'm certain that isn't all because we don't have the wherewithal to look at all US communities, but we found about 30 and that number has been growing. Particularly relevant, I think, uh, to our decision is uh, the Washington DC area. Washington DC has banned uh, GLBs outright. A number of suburban communities around um, Washington are considering Chevy Chase just passed an ordinance to do the same. And um, the Montgomery County, Maryland, one of the large suburban counties abutting Washington has restricted the use of GLBs in terms of noise limits for decades. Uh, the reason why the ban in, in uh, Washington seems particularly relevant is because the fall leaf load in that area is very, very large as it is in New England. The, Trees are different, it's uh, primarily oaks and tulip poplars, but the leaf load is extremely high. And so it's relevant to us that an area where the leaf, fall leaf burden is really severe is gradually banning GLBs. GLBs are restricted in Arlington, Brookline, Cambridge, Lincoln, and Newton. Uh, the, some of the restrictions in some of those towns are substantially more severe than what we're proposing. And I'll give an example and explain the reason why in just a moment. Currently, our bylaw is very lenient. Uh, you can use landscaping equipment 365 days a year, seven days a week, uh, pretty much uh, without restriction from 7 a.m. to 8 p.m., in one case till 9 p.m. There is no distinction between extremely noisy and polluting GLBs and other powered equipment, and there's no distinction between contractors and residents. So a contractor using very noisy equipment is no different from, treated no differently from a resident who's using a quiet electric lawnmower. Uh, so what are the main elements of Article 28? In the case of gas powered leaf blowers, we propose no restriction at all during the first year after enactment. The reason for that is part of our attempt to find a reasoned middle ground. When this is enacted, if it is, some residents and contractors will have contracts in place, and this will allow them a year to uh, fulfill those contracts with no change, no need to change equipment or plans. In years two and three, 
The use of GLB would be restricted to fall and spring cleanups. This is very common nationwide. Uh, there'd be some regulation of equipment and there'd be a slight reduction in the hours of use. After year three, uh, the use of GLBs would be disallowed except for residents using them on their own properties. Uh, in the case of other powered equipment, which means powered lawnmowers, powered string tr trimmers and powered edgers, there's a slight, would be a slight restriction in the hours of use, but no other regulation. The seasonal limits for GLBs would be a, a spring cleanup from March 15th until April 30th and a somewhat longer fall cleanup from 1st of October to the 1st of December. If you look at policies in other jurisdictions, you'll find that this is fairly common. The specific dates vary a bit, but uh, allowing the use of this very noisy equipment when the uh, utility is greatest, that is for fall and spring cleanup, is uh, quite common. The hourly limits during years two and three uh, are different for contractors and for residents. Contractors would be allowed to use them from eight to five on weekdays and nine to five on Saturdays. Residents would be allowed to use them on Sundays as well. And the reason is because many residents are working conventional hours and simply can't do their yard work during the week. All equipment would be limited to 78 A-weighted decibels at 50 feet per manufacturer certification. Now that sounds, I'm sure, like an arcane detail, but it's actually quite important. And I'd like to elaborate a bit on that, why that noise level and why as certified by manufacturer. The committee spent a lot of time trying to figure out what uh, standard would minimize the enforcement burden. And this is, I think, the lowest. Uh, the rating is usually easy to obtain. It's often on uh, manufacturers' websites. The specific standard of decibels at 50 feet is the common one. So using that standard as a basis for regulation means that there's no need to send staff out with sound meters, which would be uh, expensive and burdensome. Now, why 78 decibels? Uh, the decibel scale is a fairly unusual logarithmic scale. It's not... Um, uh, something that many, many people are familiar with. So let me make this concrete. In Cambridge, Newton, and Brookline, the limit is 65 and 67 decibels. Right? To make it concrete, let's compare one commercial grade GLB operating at 78 decibels and one at 65. The difference between 65 and 78 decibels is roughly a 20 fold difference in the sound energy produced. And in terms of perceived noise, it's roughly a doubling. So we are being more lenient than any of the other towns that have imposed limits, sound limits in Massachusetts. And the question is why are we being so lenient or proposing to be so lenient? It's to allow landscapers to use current equipment during the transition period. Uh, we looked at uh, some of the common brands of GLBs used by um, contractors. And we found that a lot of them are in the range of 75 to 78 decibels. So setting this lenient standard, which I'm sure many residents will find too lenient for their tastes, uh, allows landscapers to use their current equipment during the transition period. The restrictions on other powered equipment are merely a matter of time. Contractors are allowed to use other powered equipment weekdays from 8 to 6 and Saturdays 9 to 5. Uh, the additional hours for residents are evenings on uh, 6 to 8 on weekdays and Sundays. Now, if you're following details, you might say, why would we propose allowing evening use for residents for everything but GLBs? And the reason is because almost everything else that re residents use is vastly quieter. Uh, even a gas powered lawnmower of the size that most residents use is far quieter than a GLB. Finally, who's responsible? Our proposal, Article 28, would make both residents and contractors responsible for compliance. Now, the reason for this is, again, practicality. Uh, Lexington is host to a large number of uh, landscaping firms located all over eastern Massachusetts. Uh, the, the firms working in town vary from time to time. There is no uh, permitting of landscapers in town, so we don't have handy, the town does not have handy, a list of uh, permitted contractors and their contact information. So it would simply be impractical. It would be a large burden on staff time to try to track landscapers down if they repeatedly violate the ordinance. The penalties specified in Article 28 are um, actually changed from our proposal, changed by town council to be consistent with other aspects of town code. 
And that is a first offense of $50, a second offense of a uh, fine of $100, and a fine on the third and subsequent offenses of $200. So in summary, Warrant Article 28 would revise Lexington's noise bylaw section 80 to protect residents from noise pollution by restricting the hours of use of powered landscaping equipment and phasing out the use of gas powered leaf blowers after three years. And at this time, I would be happy to take questions. <laughs>